Hello everyone, this is Mr. 13 Things coming at you and this may not look like it's the 13 things, it may be more or less than 13 things, but 13 frames thrown into a Google SketchUp animation of a, um, a see-through um, template. Now, why is this thrown in the middle of the Khan Academy mix? Um, as we are looking at how to uh, use open source and the king and crew of open source assessment or um, practicing with some of mathematics and then beyond into the art history is Khan Academy and the king of 3D um, manipulation I would call SketchUp at this point in time um, king and court uh, and in terms of a one size fits all piece of software that does in incredible amounts um, we're looking at how we're going to put those things together. SketchUp freely available through Google accounts for Google Apps for Education, Khan Academy freely available to the world. So I'm going to close down this Ruby console here and we're just going to show you a quick demo, hopefully this works, of what uh, the end product here looks like and, and, and we'll talk about what, what this could then be used for. So purely as a demo here, I'm going to click on I'm going to kind of go in here and look around back behind. I'm working kind of slow. I got a box out here if I know I click that, very often you see that's not a box but individual faces in SketchUp. So very quickly I'm going to go ahead and go across the top of that, right click, make a group, and now it's going to act as a unit so I can go ahead and pick it up and, and do whatever I want. So I can move that around. Now in front of that I've got actually a box as well and what I've got in that box that's cut away, um, I don't know, call it a mobile. Um, you can see that there's some pretty severe nesting of, of uh, data going under. I'm going to put that box inside the other one, and you got pretty much what you would call a diorama, uh, if you think about it. In the end, you see this orange thing sitting out here. That's because, in all reality, I'll trade view here and cutting section cuts. Turn that off. Actually, that first box is a lot deeper than you would think but I'm turning on something called section cut. So you're seeing here a lot of functionality of, of SketchUp uh, that students will figure out very quickly um, if they start playing around and look at some, some great open source resources like uh, the SketchUp Show, amongst others, or Silence Did Good, Mr. 13 Things, a bunch of, bunch of people out there doing SketchUp stuff. Now, the reason why many of us are very high on SketchUp is, you're going to see later on, is this concept because it comes with a Ruby console. So it comes with uh, a programming interface, so you've got a Ruby, uh, a functioning, uh, working Ruby as soon as you have SketchUp up there, and that is huge. Ruby can do certain things like just be a calculator, 3 plus 7. Sorry, 3 plus 7. So right there you get a calculator. It does a whole lot more than that, however, so you've got Ruby there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually go ahead and run a program. I'll, I'll do it without the script there, and I'll just do it here. The program basically is going to show a wave, uh, a transparent wave of blue coming across the front of the screen here. So I'm going to see if I can... That's what the program kind of looks like. We'll talk about that later. You've got some basic definition stuff. You've got a loop. And then you've actually got it going out and grabbing some file names. And there's my name, if you care to know. Uh, really, I'm Mr. 13 Things. However, I'm going to hit that button here, and let's see if it does not explode on us. Hit that button, go. And hopefully that picks up. I've got a little bit of a, a kick in my wave there. All right, so I'll talk about how that wave was generated, again, with open source. The open source program that SalCon uses is something called SmoothDraw. Killer, wonderful, crazy thing because it lets you send out things in PNG format with transparent background. So kind of to make this wave or, or a rainbow wave does takes no time at all. You're sending it out to a file which then is pulled into SketchUp. So you're starting to learn to combine um, many pieces of software all open source so what we see in front of us here now is SketchUp you see it ended there it only went through 10 times uh, you see SketchUp you see images I won't bring pictures in per se you see images or images formed by SmoothDraw or any other um, open source GIMP uh, or non open source like Photoshop a lot of power comes in uh, from Photoshop so I am not against the pay versions it's just the fact that if you've got 2,000 computers, you need to probably really be worried about 
um, individual cost resources. All right, so you see here in front of you, I'll do it one more time, let this go and continue to talk. So what you see here is it's over time that program is switching out basically um, a, um, a JPEG file into something called a texture. So how could this be used? Well, lots of different ways. Um, but realistically, you might want to colorize your room or let students colorize your room. I don't know, a picture of the room. Everyone who's, uh, who gets it turns green. Everyone who doesn't gets blue. Uh, there's all kinds of potentiality here. Um, what you see here in a second is the fact that the Ruby is actually getting information and funneling data off of a Ruby file into a visual interface that data could just as soon be participation data coming off of Khan Academy. It could be um, uh, students running clickers, uh, but again, keeping to the open source, it could be potentially students just putting something out onto the web or going to a short shared uh, E drive or, or F drive or shared um, resource on a network. So. Let's look real quick now then what that code does here that it goes through. It just goes through and you start to see the format of things you're going to start to run across. Things like brackets and parentheses and slashes and you're going to realize, okay, the deeper you get in, uh, the deeper you're going to need to be able to deal with a flat ASCII editor. So I'll finally end with that. None of this is really that much possible without, I'm going to try to bring up Notepad right now. Bring up Notepad here and let you know that though Notepad is great, you're really going to want to go to Notepad++. Again, open source. Notepad++ is something that's going to let you do things like add columns or change returns. It's, it's uh, an incredibly powerful um, flat ASCII editor that lets you then do things like match um, opening and closing tags in HTML. So there's the notepad plus plus. So you were using that to do things like writing code. Here is some code here or like this. Put screen mark right right so you're using a flat ascii editor that's a given it's a given for your students um, it's probably more important to engineering and science than a word processor potentially you're using um, open source or non-open source spreadsheets but starting with sketchup khan academy and a flat ascii editor and let's not forget, I'll finally show you in this last minute, that how we, I went about making that wave. I'm going to hit save, sure, don't save. I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. I apologize for moving things around here. It's probably getting a little screwy, but I'm going to click here and bring up smooth draw three point, smooth draw if I can find it, and I will. Smooth draw, and I'll show you how I've been about making that wave. Double clicking and smooth draw comes up. Effectively, all I did was this take this program and go ahead and change the color on it to blue. And went and made a new layer and drafted something like this. And then made a new layer and drafted like that and then made a new layer and drafted like that, et cetera, et cetera. And then went back and then did export layer image and I sent it out to some file. When I did that, it sent it out on a transparent background, kind of a big deal. So PNG files are better than JPEG files because they deal with transparency better. Later on, you're gonna see GIFs, um, are great for the animation within uh, within the way that Khan Academy deals with uh, animated GIFs. So it's a big hodgepodge, but you can slowly, and what we'll do within here is learn to build up the very basic skills, but then learn to start to trust some of the students or other resources, friends, the web, to build up some of the other skills so we can make this symphony basically of open source to something that we create to get the knowledge uh, and to share the knowledge um, between ourselves and uh, with our students and with our community. Thanks for listening.